Okay, first up, uh, I'm actually really excited for this. This is from Great Scott Gadgets. They make amazing, awesome hardware hacking stuff, um, SDRs. This is a tool, like it's like they also make the tools for the tools that make the tools. Tool, so, tools. Love that. Um, so Cynthia N is from Great Scott Gadgets and they've done a bunch of USB devices, but this is, I think, their first device that's specifically a USB analyzer. And so, you know, Anyone who's like done USB lately or lately ever, probably Luna. Um, is it Luna? Uh, whatever they they've done USB, you're always dealing with like enumeration issues and like setup packet timeouts and like corrupted blah blah blah. Or like maybe you're hacking a connect and you want to like sniff the data that's going over the wire, um, before it gets to the driver. So whether you're debugging or analyzing or hacking, um, historically we've had to tell people, hey, use a, a Beagle. Uh, USB analyzer and they're great and everything and we love carrying them but they are not inexpensive um so seeing something like this you know like if like, you know, my opinion is like the PPK of USB analysis is a great deal it's only you know like 140 bucks or something 150 bucks and um you know can do USB analysis through Wireshark a lot of people are familiar with that tool um I'm looking forward to it. I have not tried this yet. I know that they did a like a crowd supply funding thing. So now we have it in the shop and check it out. Um, you will need a bunch of USB cables. They also have a, some software. Um, I think we have maybe some, no, we didn't have the screenshots. Screenshots are on the end of the product page. Um, a couple of buttons, GPIO. So you can use it for other tools as well. Uh, it's, I'm, yeah, to be honest, I haven't checked, but I'm sure it's all open source, uh, fully documented. Um, a great multi-tool for yeah yeah we'll add it oh no oh, i see they were added at the bottom oh, okay. okay so if you want to see the um screenshots sorry they were added at, at, in the first I, well yeah i i didn't i you know i don't grab i don't grab the photo. Yeah, I, see, yeah. I didn't scroll i didn't scroll that's fine but you see like you can use uh um, using their packetry software um you can do deep analysis of like what's going on because it's like not only do you want to get the bits it's easy to get well, easy to get the bits but it's like not too hard to get the bits off the wire but decoding them as so you know what the packet is actually doing and where things went wrong that's what gets challenging and so um i have a lot of high hopes for this i think this will be really great um you know next week or the week after we'll have the bus pirate five in so definitely getting some good hacker tools into people's hands um if you're doing USB analysis, uh, you can't beat the pricing, and Great Scott Gadgets makes great uh -oh. gadgets. Next up. Next up, uh, coming soon, we have this little adapto thingy. Uh, it is a 22-pin FBC breakout. It'll work with a Raspberry Pi 5, but what we kind of really designed this for was for our Feather RP2350 and Metro RP2350. We have this Pi 5 FPC connector compatible um, on there, which breaks out the um high speed differential lanes in this case it's four lanes plus a clock two gpio i squared c and 3.3 volt power and ground on the hstx you don't get four um lanes you only get three lanes but the raspberry pi 5 you get four um you know just be aware if you're doing high speed stuff the minute you start breaking stuff out putting on a breadboard soldering wires your signal is going to be degraded but if you want a prototype, uh, try wiring up a DVI, try wiring up a MIPI display. Um, this breakout just makes it a little bit easier. Uh, and uh, it you know, doesn't give you all 22 pins because it, it keeps the grounds separated. So you only get 19 pins here, but they're all very nicely labeled. Okay, we got a couple of Pi products, hence the code. Um, the first one was kind of started, but then the other ones were. Yeah. Is the Pi 5 2 gig. Pi 5 2 gig, which you can see. Well, this photo shows the 8 gig resistor because we didn't have the two gigs in time for the photo, mm. but pretend it has the two gig um, resistor in place. Yeah. Um, Pi 5 is now more affordable than ever, 50 bucks. Yeah. Um, it's super high powered. It's got all of that stuff built in. Um, Wi-Fi, the high-speed processor, tons of flash, the RP1 uh, subprocessor, PoE support, um, the, the DSI and CSI connectors, the UART port, the four USB, one Ethernet, like I said, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth Classic, and the PCIe M2 connector cable that you can add all those cool hats with uh, into HDMI ports. 
Okay. It's a great deal. It's the most affordable Pi 5 yet. 50 bucks. And then the Star Trek besides the Elite Eight are customers, our team, our community, all the people who make this thing complicated for it go is? There is a new variant of everyone's favorite Pi 2, Pi 0 2W, uh, which is, you know, Every Pi two, 0 2W. 0 2W. Yeah. Uh, which is getting better than Pi Zero One. This, I think, is of the quad core. It was like a Pi Four compatible Pi or Three B plus similar. I, don't, I can't remember which chip it was identical to. Um, with Wi Fi, Bluetooth, Bluetooth Low Energy, Micro SD, HDMI Mini, USB uh, gadget slash host slash peripheral, and one USB um, peripheral. And sorry, one USB power and one USB peripheral slash host. Standard 40 pin connector, very low cost. Now comes with headers pre-attached. So if you want to plug in any of our beautiful bonnets or hats or fats or whatever you want to call them, you don't have to solder. So it's a nice upgrade to um, a very compact little device. Great for running something like Home Assistant or if you want to run a pie hole or you want to do sensor stuff with Wi-Fi. Um, 18 bucks to get a full Linux computer, just find a USB, yep. uh, sorry, a micro SD card sitting on your house, four gig or larger, you can install Linux on it, get started immediately, and of course it runs Blinka. All right, let's do it.